In my world, everything tries to be what it is on the surface. Basically, shining a, a true light on what is happening in my mind in regards to society and into interactions between living beings and is to make a mirror for life. My name's Katie Bucket and I'm an artist. My work is hyper-realistic painting and I really like the way that things are reflected. So if you have a shiny object and you light it a certain way, you get a lot of shine and when painting a portrait, I'm really trying to get the essence of someone. So there's certain things that influence me, mainly love and the confusion as to like where, where do I fit in. And I like to just put a bunch of different elements together so that the viewer can just relax and dream and think of their own scenarios and, and let their mind really go, go free and just think with their unconscious rather than rationality. To recreate these worlds, I use a very traditional Renaissance palette. And what I do is I try to have a general scene and then I put objects into it by shining a light, making sure that the light is right on all of my subjects and match like a holistic scene. So my drawings are the blueprint for these paintings and I start them with just graphite and then to really see, to get a, a good sense of what the light and is actually going to be, I use white and a red and a black conte. It really just, it really comes to life because light is this universal language that we all understand. And when we look around us, we don't realize it, but our understanding of light and form is, is really just makes us be able to look at something that's not necessarily real but kind of translate it into our mind as, this is possible. When we think about consciousness, we don't really think about the animal even though we are one. So I think that there's a lot to be learned from them, there's a lot to, there's a lot to look at, and there's a lot to think about as far as, you know, keeping, keeping them alive. But also, there's a way to kind of see certain human behaviours through the guise of how predators react and how prey, prey reacts and that there's this dance between the kind of strong animalistic feelings and these, these passive what the hell is going on, um, the world is crushing me feelings. What I want to do with my artwork is to give people space to let their unconscious go and just to think, just to think, but to think about whatever they want and let their imagination go free. And hopefully I've provided something from my mind and something from my world that can allow them to do this. <laughs>